Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And again, we're talking about iOS 17.1, the latest big update to iOS 17. Now, this is a really, really important update. And in this video, we're going to talk about this. And of course, why you must update to iOS 17.1. Now, Apple has just released the RC version of iOS 17.1 which means that this is the last release to the testers before it gets released to the public next week. Now, this update is great. It has a lot of cool new features like airdrop over the internet, a lot of improvements to music and playlists, also the ability to choose any album to set as shuffle wallpapers on the lock screen of your device, and also some really important improvements to the action button for the iPhone 15 Pro models. But besides that, it's very, very important because it contains a lot of improvements that you must have on your device. Now, before we're going to talk about that, let's just take a look at some things here regarding this update. So the latest update, iOS 17.1 RC came at around 6.4 gigs here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Of course, this is a huge update because you're moving from a beta to the RC version, which means that the complete iOS will be reinstalled on the device. But if you're on iOS 17 or 17.0.3, you should get a smaller update, probably at around 01 gig. And the build number here for this update is 21B74. This is most likely the build number that you will also get when you install the final release of iOS 17.1 into your device. And now let's move on and talk about how to update first before we're going to talk about the major improvements that this update will bring to your device. So updating your device is of course very simple. If you're on iOS 17 or 17.0.3, any of the public releases of iOS 17, all you have to do is go to software update and here you will find your update for iOS 17.1 or you can just enable automatic updates here if you wanted to install automatically without you having to actually do anything. But if you're on the beta versions of iOS 17.1, you will have two different choices. If you have already installed the RC version, that means that you already have iOS 17.1 on your device and there's nothing else you have to do. If you don't want to install any next betas of iOS 17, most likely iOS 17.2 very soon, you just go to beta updates here and turn them off. And if you're on iOS 17.1 beta 3, but you don't want to actually install the RC version, you want to wait for the public version of iOS 17.1, all you have to do is again, turn off the betas here, then you won't install iOS 17.1 RC, but you can just install the public release. But in my opinion, you don't have to do that, just move on install the RC version because they are the exact same update. And now that we know how to update to iOS 17.1, let's talk about the important part. Why this update is really, really important and why you should update. Well, it fixes a lot of problems with iOS 17 and even problems that we thought are hardware problems for certain devices. First of all, it will fix the keyboard. The keyboard with iOS 17.1 will be way snappier and it will fix the lag that we got on the keyboard with iOS 17, which is really important. So if you have been experiencing any of those problems, any of those issues with your device on iOS 17, with the keyboard, iOS 17.1 will fix that. Another really important fix here for your privacy are significant locations. A lot of iOS 17 users have been experiencing this problem where they would have significant locations turned off on their device, but with iOS 17, it would reset and turn on back again. And I just noticed this while doing this video that mine is already turned on and I always keep significant locations turned off. That way, basically iOS 17 is turning it on automatically, but it got fixed with iOS 17.1. This has been pointed out from Apple as well on their release notes. So once you install iOS 17.1, make sure to check the setting here. If it's turned on, make sure to turn it off and you won't have that problem in the future. Another problem that iOS 17.1 will fix are text tones, basically custom text tones. If you have them, if you have purchased them, you would notice that with iOS 17.0.3, if you would go here, it would actually not show your custom text tone. And even though you have purchased them, you wouldn't be able to use them. Now with this new update, they will show of course, as they should. And they also have fixed the sound for the text tones because the sound actually was really low. A lot of users have reported this 
but now it has actually been updated, it has been fixed, and now they sound as they should. And this right here is another problem that iOS 17.1 will fix. Now this is really important for the new devices, for the users of the iPhone 15 Pros, and of course the 15 series. Now this right here is a problem with a lot of iPhone 15 series users. So basically you will have some kind of like burn in right here on the screen. So if you leave your iPhone on an app for a long time and you have the brightness all the way up, you can see that burn in right there, which is actually quite bad. Now we thought that this was a problem with the hardware of the new iPhones, but it turns out is a software problem and Apple has actually fixed that issue. And you can see right here on the release note for iOS 17.1 where it says it fixes an issue that might cause display image persistence. Of course, this is for the new devices. Now, iOS 17.1 will fix a lot of other problems right here. And you can see a list of some of the most important problems that Apple has fixed with iOS 17.1. It has also optimized crash, crash detection for the iPhone 14 and 15 models. And you can see right here, we have all the different problems with Taco Bell that Apple has resolved with this update. So again, it's quite a big update and it actually should be installed as soon as it gets out to the public. But even though this update is great, it has a ton of fixes. And of course, it has a few very important features. It still has some bugs that are remaining on iOS 17. Maybe some of them have been resolved, but we didn't see them on the list of the resolved issues with iOS 17.1. One of them is actually notifications on the lock screen. You can see when you go to your lock screen, the notifications are kind of buggy. They don't slide smoothly, like kind of just like jump up here. It has like a stutter or a glitch, whatever you want to call it. And that actually has not been fixed with iOS 17.1 as we can see right here. Here. Another problem would be the devices turning off at night. A lot of iPhone 15 series users have actually reported this problem and you would notice that by going to the battery here. So you will just know basically you'll see a cut right here on the battery, which means that the device has been shut down and that actually has happened to a lot of iPhone 15 users. Again, we don't have any report of that being fixed. Others are alarms not going off. That has been happening a lot. And of course, issues with the Wi-Fi, where the Wi-Fi would just drop like a lot of times. Those are some of the issues that we know some of them hasn't haven't been fixed, but also Apple hasn't talked about them or listed them on the list of improvements and fixes that they have made with the new iOS 17.1. So as you know, by now, the RC version is already released, which means that we're just a few days away from the public release of iOS 17.1. In my opinion, it will be October 23rd, the Monday as usual where Apple releases big updates to iOS. So that should be the date where Apple releases iOS 17.1 to the public. So should you update or not? Of course you should. I believe every iOS 17 user that's already on iOS 17 must update their device to iOS 17.1 because it's a really, really important update. Again, you will get a ton of new features like AirDrop over the internet, the new music and wallpaper features, but also these really, really important fixes that this, that this software update will bring to your device. So what's next regarding iOS 17? I really expect Apple to release iOS 17.2 beta one really, really soon. If they release on Monday, iOS 17.1 to the public, I wouldn't be surprised if they release that same week, iOS 17.2 beta one as well, which should be a way bigger update in terms of features. We will probably get a lot more new features with 17.2, then we got with iOS 17.1. This is usually how Apple does things. On the point two, you would actually get a ton of updates, a ton of new features and changes on iOS. So we hope for that. Hopefully we get something really good. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 17 videos and I will see you on the next one.